Turning to the day ahead, an embattled state representative facing charges has a day in court later today. Dan Edwards is live with the latest this morning. Well, Democratic State Representative Clayton Lucky is scheduled for a pre-trial hearing today in Columbus. Now, he is scheduled to appear in the Franklin County Common Pleas courtroom around 9 this morning. And because it is a pre-trial hearing, Lucky is not required to be there, but we're told he most likely will be there as attorneys prepare for his trial. Now, according to our sources, no plea or any other decision is expected this morning. Lucky is under investigation for charges involving improper campaign spending, money laundering, and theft in office. In October, Lucky turned himself in to the FBI. Lucky's attorney has filed a motion to dismiss charges. And recently, Representative Lucky did sit down and uh, have a nice chat, an exclusive interview with Marsha Bonhart. And Marsha, in your interview, Mr. Lucky said that he was not given his due process, legal, due legislative process. Did he elaborate on that at all? Well, he was talking about the Secretary of State's office. That would be John Houston's office. And he, he and his attorney feel that he was not given all of the avenues needed to hmm. determine his innocence and in reference to receipts and, mm -hmm. and and those kinds of things those kinds of documents when I spoke with that office that office indicated to me that it is no longer involved in what is going on now with the charges with Clayton Lucky now understand that uh, the interview was there were, there were parameters set by Mr. Mm -hmm. Lucky's attorney his Columbus area attorney so I could not ask any questions in reference to the indictment the charges anything like that uh, neither could he speak about anything like that so um, that was the, he and his attorney feel as though they have not been given the complete steps that other people have been given. All right, he'll have his day in court here. Now he has served four terms. Why, if he's innocent, did he decide not to run for re-election and step down? Well, I think that with the situation with the party that was urging him to do such, and rather than mm -hmm. split the party and have a lot of drama within um, the, particularly the local party here with Montgomery County, mm -hmm. um, that the decision was made so that he could concentrate on what was happening to him in reference to the indictment, and, and because that was certainly going to be front and center with his career and his personal oh, life absolutely. at that point. Marcia, thanks for your insight. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll continue to follow this throughout the day. Online updates for you, WDTN.com, and a full report for you tonight beginning at 5.